All right, here we go. Let's check it out. So I'm going to put this up next to the tweeter here. These are 92 decibel sensitivity speakers. It's the JBL Studio 590s. I'm going to turn this volume knob all the way up. So you can barely hear the noise floor with this thing. It's actually quieter than the uh, Outlaw 7000X is there. And when I turn it all the way up, uh, so very good. Uh, so noise, not an issue. Um, let's check out this though. These are six ohm speakers. That's decently loud, but there we go. This is pretty loud. It's not hot. I've been playing it a little bit. Been playing it a little bit. Not hot. Stays cool. That's great. But there is one issue. I just hooked this up originally at my desktop computer where I have the Topping E30 DAC connected to the Topping L30 headphone amp slash preamp or, well, switcher, sorry. And um, it replaced an Alesis RA100. And the RA100 had its own like noise that it created. Its noise floor wasn't very low. And that's why I wanted to test out this and also reduce the size because the other one is a rack mount. But when I hook this up, I am getting lots of issues, lots of noise. And I don't have that with the Alesis. And I don't know if it's because this is not grounded, uh, but I'm using everything is the same, same cables, everything. Uh, and I'm getting all this feedback. So I'm not sure what it is yet. Okay, so I brought it to my living room just to get it away from in there because there's a lot of electronics. So I thought, in case there's any interference, let me try in here, right? Um, I tested it in my dining room on another pair of towers, 8-ohm speakers, dead silent, just like the 590s were when I hooked them up. So, uh, and the 590s were using 12-gauge uh, monoprice cable, CL2 sheathing. Um, the Sony's in the other room, they're using the same cable as this. So all we got is power and speaker, right? And, uh, I think these are eight ohm. Interference. No, I moved it all around. Interference. So I think these drivers are not shielded. That is my guess. I'm going to turn this off. I think the drivers are not shielded. What makes me sad is my Alesis RA100 is grounded. That amplifier is grounded, and I do not have this issue at all. Um, now I, this might not be an issue because, uh, I am planning on using those JBL studio five thirties. I'm just using them as front wides right now while I wait for the five eighties. But, um, this stinks because if there's anybody out there with what I assume are, you know, un um, uh, unshielded drivers you may have the same issue and um i really do like these speakers uh so i'm i'm sad that i can't drop them in right now because obviously as, especially because i'm using the 530s i can't use them at my desk right now but um uh, i'm glad this is the only speaker that it's happening to i was really worried that the amp was probably broke or something um but yeah play beautifully up here on the 590s 
and the uh, Sony's over there. So I uh, just want to give you guys a heads up.